Welcome to my three things. Everton nil, Brentford nil at Goodison Park. Today, not a very good game. Uh, played in a... I thought it was quite slow for a Premier League game. Just no urgency, really. Uh, Brentford, for me, with a... With the played the better football at times, even with 10 men. Everton had chances definitely early on and, and it dissipated to nothing. And it's a big opportunity, I feel, that we've missed today. Again, for for to get those extra points and, and get on a win and run. And you know, we've won two games of football this season. Uh, and it's December next time we play. It's a really shocking record. And we've got to start winning games of football very quickly. Other teams are winning now. You know, Wolves back to back wins, gone and won four one of Fulham today and four unbeaten now. And you know, Leicester we know have won games of football, Ipswich won last time out and we're you know, we've got to start getting some wins from somewhere. I don't know where they're gonna come right now, but we've got to. Because otherwise we're already in it now, aren't we? We're in a relegation battle. Given it's December next time we play, so you know, we're we're coming up to that to Christmas and stuff and by the time the next set of fixtures are done and we're halfway through the season and unless we get some really good results in December, we'll we're gonna be in the probably the bottom three or there or thereabouts and, and battling relegation for the rest of the season. And for me, we've put ourselves in it with a with a, a really poor mentality. Uh, which is coming from coming out the club it feels and you know, talking ourselves down and and not, I'm being scared. And I think that's the first place I'm going to start is there has to be a mentality shift in terms of how we approach games from the manager and from the players. We've got to go after teams. It's quite simple. We have got to go after teams. There's got to be more variation in what we do. Got to be more attack and play. This thing of making sure we don't concede and then see if we can nick something at the other end isn't good enough. It's not the Premier League nowadays. Premier League is about scoring goals, attacking. If on those the odd day that it ends nil nil and you've kept the clean sheet, fine, no problem with that. But we have got to have to start going after teams. We've played twelve games. We've got eleven points. We've won two games. What we're doing isn't working. It's not working. We have to win games of football, and that mentality change has to come soon. The manager's got to trust in a more attacking way of playing. And the players have got to buy into that, buy into what the manager's asking them to do and the coaches and start delivering. He can, John Dyke can set Everton up. When those lads cross the white line, they have got to start delivering. They're not delivering. None of them are delivering right now. You know, three games without a goal when you've played Southampton, West Ham and Brentford is absolutely shocking. And Fulham, one goal in four games. Not good enough, not good enough. And until we start getting after teams and really trying to win, I was looking at Brentford today and they do try to win every game, to be fair to them. Don't get me wrong, they weren't amazing today by any stretch, but they were positive in everything they'd done. And when they went down to 10 men, they still broke. They carried just as much of a threat as us. They looked, you could argue at times, more likely to win it than we did. And the manager, even with 10 men, made two attacking substitutions. And went for it because he knew the game was there to be won. And OK, it's ended nil-nil. But for them, they were delighted at the end, rightly so. They hadn't got a point away from home yet till today. He kept a clean sheet. He played with 10 men from the first half. And they, you know, they could have, they had the moments where they could have nicked all three points. So from them, that's one of them games for them. But their home form's brilliant. They won five and drew one of their six home games. Look at us. We've won one home game in six. And that is not good enough at all. Not good enough at all. And I feel like we have to we have to have that little mentality shift and, and turn that into a belief and go after teams. We've got players who are more creative than what we're seeing. We've got players who can take chances. Mix it up a little bit. Don't be afraid to change it up. Because I think if we carry on just trying to be safe, 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 this is for the season. This is us for the season. We might be safe. We might get it wrong and we're not safe because we're throwing away game after game after game at home. We can't portray ourselves as the underdog in every game. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. So I'd love to see an attitude change in 
in the manager and coaches and the players the belief that we can go after these teams and get results. It moves me on sticking with the similar theme is for some members of the fan base, there's got to be a mentality shift. This is my second point. There's got to be a mentality shift. Listening to people coming out the ground is there's just a lot of people who, who just aren't happy, aren't happy with what's going on, aren't happy with the manager, aren't happy with the way some of the players are playing and hate the fact that we don't go after teams at home. We're not on the front foot of Goodison. But there's others, and okay, this is less, there is less of voices that I'm hearing. This is all this is based on a very small um, section of people. But people telling me that 17th is a, is a great achievement. This if you just finish 17th and get into the new ground, it'll all be all right. What'll be all right? Like, there's no magic wand when we get to, to the new stadium. We're not all of a sudden going to be fine when we get to the new stadium. I understand the, the caution of we can't go down this season. I understand that. I get that. But this team, squad, shouldn't even be in that conversation anyway of going down. But we can't put up with or make excuses that things are going to be so much better when we get to the new stadium because you've got to create that momentum. That We can't allow the club to pedal that and it has come from the club it's via either Sean Dyche or Kevin Thelwell or other people in and around the club, Colin Chong to a certain extent at times. It can't be everything will be better when we get to the new ground. Of course, it will have more money. It'll create more opportunity. We know that. But... We can't put up with mediocrity because we think the minute we get there, it'll switch. Because otherwise, we put up with mediocrity, we go with mediocrity, that becomes the norm. And then we're in a new stadium and we're mediocre and we might get relegated anyway because we haven't fixed problems that are there right in front of our eyes right now. There just seems to be... I've seen the manager's quote, just a quote from the manager was sent to me by someone not very happy saying, blaming the fans again. And he sort of says the second half, it was flat. You know, the stadium's nervous and it can't be like, you know, he's sort of putting it on. But the stadium's flat because there's an apathy around Everton at the moment because it's like, it is that thing of waiting. It's like when we get there, we'll all feel better. We'll be excited. That the atmosphere will be amazing. We'll go after teams. We'll beat teams. We'll get this thing going. None of that happens unless you start to create it. And I just think it's a dangerous precedent when people start going, Doesn't results don't matter as long as we we can aim for 17th and finish 17th so we're in the new stadium. Surely, surely we have got to be aiming higher than that. Surely. This is Everton Football Club. And even forget about what's gone on in the past. The squad of players is good enough to be 12th, 13th, 14th. Nowhere near relegation. And right now we talked ourselves into a relegation battle and it blows my mind that people are comfortable with that. And I never thought I would ever hear the day I heard Evertonians saying 17th is good enough. And I just never, ever did. Maybe in mid-April when, you know, we've got three, four games to save ourselves, maybe we'd probably all say that then, but not in November. Like, I just, I don't know. Probably just me, but I, I can't accept that. I really can't. Uh, final thing is, I'm counting the days till Broya and Chimiti are available. That has to be said. That and the transfer window opening so we can get more options into this squad. You know, we need Broya available. He's someone who runs with the ball. He runs at the goal, which is, you know, very unlike the way we play at the minute. Chimiti, I think, has showed loads of great promise. Now, OK, he may well be put out on loan in January. I don't know. That seems to be something that's bouncing around at the minute. But let's hope they can see some action in December because we're going to need them. We're going to need different different attributes and they bring different attributes than Beto and that Dominic Calvert-Lewin does. Um, and then into January, we need to be going after a winger who's, who's quick. We need some pace in this side. It's so slow, it's frightening. We need a midfield player who can go in and grab the game. And we need a left-back. We need a left-back to put pressure on Michalenko and maybe an attacking left-back. Now, that might be done with loans. Everton might have people identified. 
We don't know what's happening with Beto. They might, Beto might be loaned out or sold. Dominic Calvert-Lewin could go. He's not, you know, he's not committed his future to the club. His contract's up in June. So, but just for right now, the importance of getting Broya fit and Chimiti, I think, is massive. I think to just get those different options on the bench for the manager and for the fans and for the team. Give them something different. Get on. Affect the game by using having a different skill set than what we've got. We've got a big number nine who's not scoring. We've got a, sort of a chaotic striker, if you like, who comes on and call, you know, knocks people about and puts pressure on people. We need, you know, Breuer is someone who picks the ball up and likes to dribble. And we've got Chimiti who links everything together. So I, for me, I'm looking forward to those who've been fit and available. Hopefully the recovery is a speedy one and they are available for us and give us some much needed options right now right there are my three things let me know what you think in the comment section below like subscribe do all that have a fantastic weekend see you later